So I have a database in Notion that stores different video ideas. And I have a status column with three status possibilities, not started, in progress, or done. And currently I have these set to some random uh, page icons. But when I when I create a list to view these, um, I really want this, the page icons to reflect the status. Now there's not a built-in way to do this, but if you use the API, you can actually do some pretty neat things. So I'll run this script here that I've created. And if you watch over here, it's gonna start cr changing these icons. Um, so it's listing out the, the page titles as it goes through here. And now you can see we've got these all set to, if it's done, it's the custom icon or custom emoji, which is YouTube. Uh, if it's in progress, it's a video camera. If it's not started, it's a light bulb. And um, let me just show you again by uh, putting these back to random. Uh, so there we go. We've, re we've randomized these. Um, so again, uh, I have them here. I have the status and I want these to be updated based on status. So I simply run this notion update icon script and it's going to go through, check the status of the page and then set the icon accordingly. Now, the randomization one that I did is this right here. And this is a nice, simple script. You can pause the video, take a look at this. This is a simple one to get started with the API. Uh, one thing to note is that I'm, I've created a file called config.py, and in that, pi, in that file I have uh, an API key defined and the database ID defined. So just be mindful of that. Um, so this is a very simple example. All this does is uh, add a random emoji from this list to every page in the database. And that's how I reset this so that I could show you the example again. And the way to get started with that is if you go to, uh, here, let me show you the first page here. So if you go to developers.notion.com, you can click view my integrations here. This brings you to this page and you can just click new integration. This is actually the name field. I know it's a little bit silly, but we can just type example, select the workspace we want to associate it with. The type is internal for us. If you were making a public one, you could do that, but that's outside the scope here. Hit save, configure install integration settings. This is going to be your integration secret or your API key that we were referencing. And by default, it's going to have read, update, and insert, which is all that you need. So there's nothing else you need to save here. But just copy this and put that in your config.py file. Uh, and then you can just come over, create this, uh, run that in in uh, whatever terminal you like to use. This is the random page icons one. And that's gonna go through and randomize all of these. Now, that's not a very useful one, the randomized one. So here's the example on the one that actually updates the page icons. So in this case, I have, uh, I'm setting the status icons here. So here's the status and then the icon type. This is a little bit fancier because I wanted to use custom emojis. I really like the YouTube icon itself. So if it's done, it's gonna to set to the custom emoji with this ID. If it's in progress, it will set it to this emoji. If it's not started, it sets it to this emoji. And all this is doing is going through the pages in the database that has database ID here, which again is set in config.py. And then for each page, it's gonna look at the name of the page. That's just so I can print a helpful message in the terminal. Uh, it's gonna get the page status and then uh, prints out that little helpful message over here. And then checks if the status, um, so status is page status, and if the status is in these status icons, in other words, have I chosen an emoji that I want to set as the page icon in that case, then it's grabbing that from here, and then it's doing just a little bit of logic here to make it where the code is simpler, but feel free to pause and copy and paste this. Um, and then this, when it calls this on the page, it's just updating the page icon to the values that we have up here. So anytime you run this, it runs uh, runs through everything in that database and does it. And again, we can just run it here so you can see it. We're updating pages. It's going through and it's changing them all. So this is obviously not the the most ideal solution ever. Obviously, if this was built in, it would be great. But for me, this works uh, is more than sufficient. I can run this whenever I want everything to get updated and it can go through there and do that. Obviously you can also update publish date, video URL, you know, anything else that's in here, you can be accessing and updating that from there, which is gonna be great in a future video. I'll show you how to work with local LLMs in your Notion database. So that's it and I hope you have a great day.